the more you since yesterday have made how many new friends on Facebook over 200 oh my god so yes. how is it different you know I before yesterday I did not realize the power of connecting ideas and the way you get there is you have to connect people so we're sitting on this gold mine of ideas <laughs> what could be more valuable but ideas require people say ideas require money they can't do anything because they don't have money or this problem or that problem what do you have to say about that believe it or not there was a time before money existed people still did things <laughs> uh, the great thing about the world in which we live is you only have to have the idea there will be someone out there that's probably already working on a similar project or if there isn't well then you've got a multi-billion dollar idea <laughs> and as long as you are willing to take the time to think through the different avenues of your idea and to share it with others not just keep it to yourself because when you share that idea with others, you find ways for it to evolve and grow, to become a much more efficient and plausible idea than just the idea you had in your head. And it's by sharing these ideas that we have entire communities that come together. And out of a million ideas, if only one thing is actually done, but that one thing influences an entire community, it was well worth it. But then people say, if I share my idea, somebody will steal it. And you know, that's a mentality thing and I, I won't get too much into my philosophy because I am writing a book on philosophy, but my one of my basic uh, ideas is that there are two overarching principles in the human condition, fear and love. If you look at something from the context of this is my idea, I own it, personally, I think you've missed the boat because that idea isn't really yours. It's a community thing. That idea didn't just pop into your head because you were living on an island by yourself and there was no other experience you had. That idea came from a culmination of how you were raised, where you're living, what people around you are saying, thinking, and doing. There's billions, infinite things that have contributed to the creation of that idea, so how can you say it's yours? You can say that in this moment, you're probably one of the few people who sit thinking about it this way. You might have some unique spin, but the uniqueness isn't what a lot of people think it is. A lot of people want to say uniqueness is, is based on differences and stop there. I'm unique because I'm black. I'm, you're unique because you do this that no one else does. And to a degree, yes, by the definition of the word that does work, but it's not just about our differences. You, the true uniqueness of individuals is in their character. How do they react to or manage change? I say or because a lot of people react to it but don't manage it. And some people manage it so well they never have to react to it. <laughs> or very rarely, we should say.